You know, as a leader, they stand above other people because they have more knowledge and wisdom and understanding, maybe even more experience, more, um, they have more um, self-discipline, control. They move a little different. So even in the, the world systems, they put leaders uh, according to their abilities and, and their knowledge above other people to teach them, right? In God's kingdom, it's very much the same. Uh, the Bible says that teachers will be held to a higher standard because they know more. They, they have more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and God has opened up their eyes all the more. And that's what this video is about. It's about layers. You know, when I was young, I only had so much knowledge and I would work with what I knew. And often I found myself mocking, mocking people that had the truth because of my limited understanding of what I understood at that point. I can only see so far as a result because I can only see from here to there. And they, could, they had a higher standpoint of, of living. And they could see further than me. Uh... I didn't have language for it, so I would mock it. I would laugh at it because in my own eyes, I was right and they were wrong. Until I got a little older, a little wiser, experienced a little bit more, read a few more books, um, got more downloads, and then I said, oh, okay, no, they were right. You know, and I come to the full circle. Whatever, Wherever you're at right now, it's not where you're gonna stay. You may have things in your life right now that you want to work it out. Uh, things that are stumbling blocks, things that are holding you down, pinning you down, addictions, uh, marital problems, bill problems, all kinds of different things. But I kid you not, I tell you what, right now, you have limited understanding, limited knowledge. You can only see so far. Uh, you can take the spiritual and even say, well, God says walk by faith and not by sight. And uh, don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. But now, I'm looking back, a lot of my problems, a lot of the things that I thought that were a dead end, just like the Red Sea, when Moses was crossing the Red Sea, it was a dead end for them until God parted the Red Sea. A lot of the things that we face in adversity, it looks like, man, you're facing a big bad wolf like Goliath and whatnot. But you get through it and you get on the other side. And the best part about getting to the other side is that now you know stuff that other people don't know. The battles that you face, the adversity, the scars that you bear, spiritual, emotional, physical, mental, all, all scars have all taught you something they now you have a higher level of living from so when somebody's going through something minor and you've gone through something hard you can tell them don't worry about it i know it looks to you like this is the end of the world um, and it hurts a lot you know like think of your first broken heart first time you got you know uh breakup or whatever, somebody cheated on you, this or that, how, how it crushed you that time, right? But as you live life longer and longer, things seem to, to, to occur more and more. And the people that have the most wisdom are the people that have gone through the most rubbish. A lot of people that have been traumatized hold a lot of valuables from the trauma move more cautiously as a result and that could look funny to other people somebody that has been traumatized kidnapped or you know gun pointed and, and, and rushed bum rushed by a bunch of people right let's say they, they, they come out of that experience they're grateful to be alive they're not going to be like the person that, that's never happened to person that this never happened to they're going to be willing to go with just about anybody uh, an invitation comes they're like yeah let's go but the person that's gone through something like that they're going to look at that person and say no i'm straight i'm not going 
and that's going to look funny to the person that doesn't that that hasn't gone through anything. It's going to sound funny. Why not, bro? Come on, you know you're being a square. You're this. You're that. They don't understand. They have limited knowledge, wisdom, and ICC until they go through a similar situation. Maybe not the same situation, but something something that bad happens. So the people that have gone through a lot of stuff, they 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 have a lot of understanding. They move differently than other people. And pe like kids, have you noticed that kids are always running everywhere? If they're gonna go to the kitchen from the bedroom, they run to the bedroom. I mean, they run to the kitchen, right? They're always running everywhere. I remember the first time uh, something happened to me. I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> and this does sound funny to a lot of you. It is a little bit funny. But it was also a moment of reflection. I was running from the kitchen to uh, the bedroom. And I stuck my toe against the wall. And my nail came off. And, uh, and I was bleeding a lot. And I remember that that was, that was a, a moment of... It, it didn't stop me from running. I, I ran again. But it was definitely a, a yield sign there. There was a sign that said, slow down. Slow down. It might be a good idea not to not to run so fast, you know. Like, so although we are so hard-headed, we are so stubborn, we don't take the first sign. We have to go through things over and over again. But we go through enough signs, and sometimes the sign is so detrimental. Uh, the death of a friend can be very detrimental. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. That that will stop you in your track. And then you, you finally get the revelation of, okay, I'm going to cut this out. Listen up. That looks funny to other people. People don't understand. They have a lot of questions. They mock. But like I said, it's all gold. It's valuable gold. Um, treasure. To have insight on what life, like how it operates, how it conducts itself. You know, some people talk about karma. I know a whole lot about reaping and, and sowing. I know a whole lot about curses because I've been under a curse before because of my bad way of living. So when I teach on my videos, hey, live right, live righteously, live good, it comes off to other people like, this guy, bro, like, they have so much to say and so many, you, you understand? Because you haven't lived what I have lived. I have sight that some of you don't have because I've endured hardship as a result of wrong way of living. I was telling my wife earlier today that I have gone through a lot of physical things that have scarred me. I've been shot and pistol whipped and I've been in uh, multiple situations where I've been rushed by a bunch of people and different things like that, you know, a lot of a lot of different things like that, right? And that can scar you and traumatize you, right? You leave you with PTSD and stuff like that. I was telling my wife earlier today, I said, man, nothing like the spiritual consequences have, like the physical consequences that I have endured are... It, it doesn't match up to the spiritual consequences. You know, going to hell, being in prison in hell, seeing demons whoop on you and, and try, like, like really clobber you in such a way where words don't do it justice. You can speak about it all day long, but you don't do it. Anybody that has dealt with depression can tell you the depths of, of darkness that they've thought of these decrepit things to do to themselves or the hopelessness that that carries you can't put that into words you can't even paint a picture of that you just know how deep it is it's depth it's deep when you're in it well i felt all of that uh i felt a lot of different things attack me man suicidal thoughts uh multiple times a day throughout the day just sabotaging my every and well it took me a while, just like the stumping of the toe. I didn't catch the, the revelation right away. It took me a while to catch the revelation, but I finally, after a long time, understood 
it was the stuff that I was watching. It was the stuff that I was listening to. Music, shows. It was the stuff that I was letting in in my life. The toxic people. It was the drugs. A lot of it. A lot of demons are in the drug world. Let me tell you a lie. And there's a big lie out there that weed is okay. Weed is a portal where demons come and dwell. And a lot of people uh, become possessed uh, out of smoking weed. I know weed sounds like a very innocent thing today, day and age. But that is also a weapon. That is uh, an attack in and of itself to tell you that something is innocent. Is to have you to do it because it's innocent. You understand? If I wanted, if I had an enemy, I would want him to think that this is innocent so that he can come into the trap. But uh, I believe that marijuana is okay for like Parkinson's disease or something like that, like cancer, like uh, somebody that super super skinny because they never eat they never have an appetite and something that we can help them to eat something like that I feel like that's why God created the plan right but anyways leave that aside so to end to conclude this video understand that when you hear stuff that just doesn't you don't understand it why why is this person like it comes off like a lecture right it comes off like Man, I want to be entertained. I want my ears to be tickled. I don't want to laugh. I want to whatever. Right? Skip this video. Let's go to the next one. Like, that's the flesh, right? But the things that are spiritual, the things that are mean, your, your heart, your soul, right? For example, the things that are fleshy, they actually deprive the nourishment to your heart and your soul you like the things that are very, uh, the things that, that, that run your life, the engine of your life, the cares and the, everything stems from your heart as an example. But if all you feed yourself is the garbage on social media, your heart is deprived of the things that will feed it life and life like eternal. And that's what my videos are all about, is feeding your heart, your soul, your mind, right? The things that, that nourish it. Just like if you went to a nutritionist, they would tell you, eat these types of foods. Eat a lot of protein, eat, eat uh, a lot of greens, you know. Uh, stay away from artificial foods, you know. You have a lot of artificial pleasure out there, but it's killing the soul. It's killing your, your, the things that God called you to thrive in your destiny and so it might not do it for you you might need a thousand more signs in order for you to finally capture the revelation of I see you God I see what you're doing you're trying to get me to, to put this down and, and pick the Bible up I see you God it might take a hundred more signs but let me just tell you guys like a lot of people, they have to go through something very traumatic in order to give it, tap out, surrender, say, okay, God, you win. Like, why does it have to come to that? Why can't we just stop in advance and say, that's what the fear of God really is. The fear of God gets you to comply before things get bad. Not after, before. Because you know that there is consequences. Come on, guys. We know that there's consequences to bad things, right? Bad is bad and good is good. Good gets you rewards and bad gets you consequences. That's how it is in the real world. But it doesn't. But that's how, also how it is in the in the things of the kingdom of God. So I just wanted to say that you know, take this as a sign. If you don't understand somebody, it could be, it could be, not always, but if they mean you well and they're speaking truth, they're speaking something that is good, but you don't get them, you don't comprehend it, maybe stop yourself and see what it is that they know as opposed to just mocking and writing them off like they're crazy or this or that. Because 
if it's sound judgment, if it's if it's life giving, if it's positive in nature, if it's light bearing, you might want to pay attention. They might know, they might have gone through things that you haven't gone through, have wisdom as a result, and they're just trying to help you out, but it sounds foreign to you. So give that, you know, give it some thought.